Hey YouTube, I'm rocking out to some more reggaeton. I'm gonna head up the coast and try to get a little vlog in. Uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. Oh yeah, Wednesday I can put my trash cans out. It's trash can day for me. Um, I don't have any NorCal's for after work, so I just got off work. I got one lined up for tomorrow. So I figure I'd head up the, uh, take a little rip up the coast here. Turn the volume down on my music. So I saw that, I, uh, you know, I buy a lot of parts for the van from Amazon. So the Amazon driver actually showed up in their Amazon truck. You know, they got their own trucks going around. So I was like, hey, how much are they paying you now? For Northern California up here, you know, the wages are really high. I've probably told you guys that before on the videos. You know, to rent a bedroom here is a thousand bucks a month, man. It's crazy. So I asked the Amazon drivers, like, hey, how much are they paying you? I was curious, you know. I know UPS drivers are union. FedEx is non-union. Um, some of them can pull some decent coin depending on their seniority and whatnot. And she's like 20 bucks, they get 20 bucks an hour and a hundred dollar bonus if they don't get any into any wrecks. And she told me it's a part-time gig and it's working out good for her. It was a lady driver. I was like, yeah, all right. 20 bucks delivering packages, you know. I don't know if that's enough to make yeah, you could probably make your rent and have a couple bucks left over, but that's about it. If you were renting a room. Now, if you had a partner or a, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be, or a spouse, you're making 20, they're making 20. You're splitting a room that's a thousand bucks a month. Yeah, you could probably pull it off. Not a lot of leftover income. That's just the way the world is today, I guess. Now, if they're getting 20, if you're getting 20 bucks an hour to deliver that same package in another part of the state where living's cheap, and maybe you're renting your bedroom and it's only 350, 400 bucks for the room, yeah, you're probably doing all right. You probably got beer money left over at the end of the week. Probably, well, you probably got enough money left over to get a sack and some beers. <laughs> 20 bucks an hour. Man, I'll tell you what, man, the HVAC, the HVAC career, especially out here, has always paid good. Always paid good. When I got out of high school, I was making 10 to break shit. I didn't know nothing. I was terrible. I was a terrible mechanic starting out. I'll be the first to admit it. I was horrible. Oh, look at the ocean. Gorgeous. I was a terrible mechanic and I got 10, 10 bucks an hour to break stuff and blow stuff up and drive the company truck all around. Yeah, <laughs> not a bad deal. That was back in the 80s. But the HVAC, the HVAC gig pays, you know, there's always work. Look at this pandemic. We worked, it's almost been a year since I made that video about the HVAC mechanic and the COVID. I told everybody we were going to be on the front lines, and I was right. Um, and uh, it's almost been a whole year. Isn't that crazy? And we get to work every single day and still have our jobs. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And uh, I know I'm super busy at my day job. Probably more busy than, I, than if there was a full boat of students there. We got, I don't know, there's maybe 1,600 to 2,000 students living on campus. They got to live there. They got nowhere else to live. You know, they're from out of the country or they're poor and they and they had made plans to live on campus for their schooling and they got nowhere else to live. And so they're up there. And uh, all the classes are online, remote, but they're probably safer up there because no one's around than they would be if they were at their own hometown probably. Who knows? 
Let's see if we can get around this little, what was this little BMW? A little convertible, but. Yeah, it's been, this has been like pump seal winter for me. I did uh, two today and it's just pump seal after pump seal going out up there. And then, you know, that happens, it cycles. And, uh, oh yeah, tons of Dakins breaking. The Dakins leak like Swiss bin. They leak like Swiss cheese. Those Daikin air conditioners. Let's see, Friday I changed out. I actually found a condensing unit for one system. We were, we were able to leave the indoor unit and just change the outdoor unit. They still made it. And then I got an indoor unit that's leaking that I'm trying to find the indoor coil for right now. Um, but at the day job, there's no videos going on, man. I can't take videos at the day job. It ain't gonna happen. Um, but I can talk about it. What else do I got going on? I got a little prep table to look at tomorrow after work. It's for my buddy's, uh, it's one of my buddy's accounts that he's laid up right now. He'll probably watch a video too. And uh, so I'm just trying to help him out on that one. And then, oh. I still got my 10 evaporator fan motors to change out. You know, the little ones. Um, there's five in each coil and there's two coils on this drink lineup. I'm gonna try and do that on Sunday and see how we make out. Hopefully we can get that all done. watching the video you'll notice I stopped and got the drone out and went and laid out in the in the wildflowers um, pretty cool right here everybody's checking it out check out these old tractors oh come take a look at these I think uh, I think the first one's international We'll have to see what the what the second one is. I love this old farm stuff. Yep, that was old international. This one's an old farm mall. Far out, man. McCormick Farm Mall. International. Cool stuff. Like we'll creep up on the Harley Davidson. I saw Indian Motorcycles put out a new tube frame bike, but it doesn't have the mono shock or the. It looks like ABS was a, a extra, no dual disc brakes. Harley Davidson still kicks their ass. There's no getting around it. You can get this low rider S. I think for 18 grand. Of course, you don't get all the cool shit that I put on there. You got to pay extra for that, but that's no big deal. And you get the 114 Milwaukee 8, which I mine stock other than exhaust in the in the EPA fuel tuners. I did go with the Harley fuel tuners, so I didn't want to screw with my warranty. And I gotta say, 
it does just fine for what I do. You know, I like to go long distance. Oh, I listen to that. Oh, look, it's oh, it's 420. No way. Bam. How's that? Spark it up. If you're watching. Oh yeah, we could do it. Pull out here. Let's see. Traffic's. Just Everyone's out here getting pictures. I busted the drone out. <clears throat> And I got some silly pictures of me. I think it's on my Instagram and stuff. I was laying in the wildflowers like a starfish. <laughs> I 